So, you want to know how to fly hooks or copy and paste your hooks inside of Pro Tools the easy way? Keep on watching this video. Get and do the same thing. Now we're going to go to bar 80. What's up everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys how to copy and paste your hooks inside of Pro Tools or fly your hooks the easy way. Guys, a lot of the times what a lot of us like to do is basically try to move our hooks until we can get it playing by ear. And some of us are really good at that. The problem is, is that the majority of the time, you may not be accurate, okay? So you may have a hook that's a little bit off and you may not be able to notice it, but somebody with a better ear may be able to say, hey man, your hook is kind of off or your hook is not lined up and you're probably freaking out like, no nah, man, I know how to line up my hooks. That's what I do, man. I've been doing this for like 30 years. Look, <laughs> then you try to do it the proper way or they show you the proper way how to do it and you realize your hook is actually off, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do it the proper way so it can be very accurate every time you place your hooks. As long as you follow these steps, your hook's gonna be right. Let's go ahead and jump into it right now. All right, guys, so the first thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is first off, you need to make sure that you know what the BPM of the song is. You need to know exactly what the BPM of the song is. That's gonna help you place these hooks. So find that out first. Once you find that out, what you wanna go ahead and do is click this button up here, this little red arrow. Go ahead and type your BPM here and make sure that it matches, okay? Mine just happens to be 135. Okay, so in the process, uh, this is a song that I, a cover song that I'm working on right now, so check it out. I hope she don't think that I think that she's some kind of ho. Some kind of ho. By the way, guys, I recorded that with the template that I've been selling you guys. So if you guys are interested in that vocal template, email me. I'll let you guys know how much it is and you can go ahead and purchase it. All right. So back to the tutorial. All right. So, guys, in the process, after you know your BPM, the next thing that you definitely want to do is just go up here. And you want to make sure that this particular area here, you just right click it. It probably shows up like this. Okay. Okay either bars and beats or minutes or seconds. I recommend that you do both, okay? So I recommend that, that you do bars and beats and then show sub counter. So you cl you get there by either uh, clicking this drop down, left clicking, or you can right click it and go to show sub counter, okay? Then I recommend that you have the bottom two minutes and seconds, okay? Bars and beats, minutes and seconds um, together at the same time. That way you know if Seb, you're referencing like a song on YouTube, then you'll know exactly where the hook is going to come in. And then the bars and beats is going to help you place your hooks more accurately. OK, that's something that you want to focus on. All right. So now in the process, what you want to do next is the majority of you are probably going to be working in like slip mode or something like this. So say if you highlight using this button here, if you highlight your hook and you use this hand tool, you can pretty much slide it wherever you want, okay? Control Z to undo that. Grid is gonna snap more to a grid or to a point. Um, half, half step, whole step, beats, whatever, you know, it's gonna snap to that. As you can see, boom, boom. So edit, undo that. Okay, spot mode is just where you're gonna be able to um, Place your hook by just typing in a particular beat or measure or mark, okay? So what we're going to do in a process is we're going to use spot to be able to place our hook. If you try to click on here, it's going to pop up with the spot dialog ask, asking you what bar or beat uh, that you want to put your particular hook at. But we're not going to focus on that right now. The next important thing that you're going to need to know is you want to have grid clicked or select. You want to have grid selected. And then what you want to do is left click it or right click it 
and a process and then you want to put it on a whole bar so go ahead and click whole bar or one bar and then the same thing for nudge i did the same thing one bar now nudge it's just gonna if you place your hook and it's kind of like off and you need to move it by you know just a little bit or however much you need to nudge it by to be able to nudge your hook or move your hook wherever you need to move it okay so, so i'm gonna hold down shift click and i'm just gonna click and highlight every vocal okay so now check this out now we're gonna start placing our hook right now okay so listen to the hook I hope she don't think that I think that she's some kind of hoe. okay so a quick tip real quick if you want to go ahead and uh, make sure that your hook is prepared you got everything every vocal the way that you want it so what you can do is highlight those vocals by clicking here Highlight those vocals and you can just hit control F or command F on a Mac. Um, and this is going to apply batch fade. So it's going to put fades in the beginning and the end of your vocal. So there's no unnecessary little pops or clicks. Okay. You hit okay. If you want to consolidate all your vocals, then you go ahead and hit shift alt three. On a Mac, it would be shift option three or something like that. Okay. And that'll consolidate all your vocals. So just say hypothetically, you like all your vocals, you like the way that they are, this is the way that you want it. What you want to do now is go through your song and you need to find out where every hook is going to be. Only you can determine that. I don't know your song. Only you can determine where the hooks are going to come in. So if you click right here and you click AZ, it's going to basically allow you to use RNT to expand or magnify your vocals okay so in this particular case if we expand that if we look at the top this is come this hook is coming in on bar eight okay and the reason why i recommend that you doing consolidate because it's not coming the hook is not coming in directly on bar nine either if you consolidate the vocal from the start of the actual hook then it's going to be able to copy over a lot easier. Okay. So now that I have everything consolidated, check this out. Now we're going to start placing this. So I know that this particular song, the hook is going to probably be at probably bar 40. Okay. So I'm going to stretch this out and you want to get it precise guys. You do not want to mess this up. Directly on the line. You want to put the cursor directly on, on the line. Now you want to use the enter button on your numeric keypad to create a marker. We're going to type it in hook two. And then the next one I know is going to come in on like bar 80, I believe. Okay. Go to bar 80. Make sure that you're, com you're completely lined up. That cursor is on that line and we're going to put hook three. OK, so now that we got our markers set up, what we need to do in the process is go ahead and highlight our vocals again. So we're just going to take this hand tool. We're going to shift click. And shift click each one of them. OK, boom, just like that. So what you want to do in the process after doing that, you want to put this in spot mode and all you want to do is hold down the alt button or the option key and left click it. And then we just want to type in 40 and hit enter. Now it just copied or flied that hook over. Okay, so let's check it out. I hope she don't think that I think that she's some kind of hoe. Some kind of hoe. I don't care that you it copied the hook over perfectly, okay? Now you want to do the third hook. All you got to do is hold down the alt button or the option key and click it and do the same thing. Now we're going to go to bar 80. Enter. Just copied it over. Let's check it out. I hope she don't think that I think that she's Voila. some kind of hoe. Some kind of hoe. I don't care. That just lets me know that she knows what she wants. Yeah. And guys, that's pretty much it. As long as you accurately do this, you'll be able to fly your hooks over a lot easier. Now, I'm old school. I like to utilize my ear and slide my hooks over the way that I want to and try to get it precise. But realistically, when you're doing this stuff for clients, you want to make sure that you're being accurate as possible. 
for my own songs, I don't care if I just happen to slide it over individually by using slip mode, trying to use my ear. But if you don't have a good ear, you're going to be trying to move that thing over and over and over again. You're going to be frustrated. A lot of people may hit me up saying, man, I'm just frustrated. I can't get my hook placed. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Do you have a tutorial? Well, I do now. This is going to be the easiest way. So if you guys don't follow this tutorial, then I can't help you. Okay. So make sure that you follow this tutorial to the T everything that I said. And guys, I guarantee you that you will be able to place your hooks. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it.